go. There we are. Legit. There's Sam. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> It's time to get your fucking horror on, live from their dumpy little studio in beautiful Norwalk, California. It's the Mindless Horror Podcast with Sammy and Anthony. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast. Uh, we are doing a new thing right now for all the people in quarantine because right now um, I want to I want to deliver the best content for everybody while they can watch something and enjoy it and have a good time. Um and this is a good episode. This is a really fun episode that we have planned. Today we have on the show Sam, who also, if you guys don't know her work, you should. She plays Scary Mary at Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. Uh, Sam, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about doing yourself? Great. I love, I love <laughs> your wall, by the way. Your wall is just decked out. It's beautiful. Well, I had to do video because I, right? I like to show off. I'm yeah, a I mean, you got <laughs> Spalding there. You got some Scary Mary. That's... That's awesome, man. You oh, got, yeah, you got a little my bit of friend everything. painted me. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm show it off, you know. My, yeah, what? Well, might as well. I mean, it's your character, man. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta show it off. Um, so for people that don't know, you are actually the like, pretty much the the one that we see on the advertisements and stuff, right? Oh, lately, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've seen you work in person, and it's 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 awesome. It's terrifying. I've seen you uh, twice at the Midsummer Screams, uh, the panels that Queen Mary does. Um, terrifying, as usual. You're just you're just there doing doing Scary Mary, and it's it's terrifying. While the captain's cracking his jokes, which are hilarious. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he's, he's he is fantastic. Um, but Scary Mary, talk to us about this. So, how long have you actually been a scare actor in general? Uh almost a decade wow yeah since high school decade. Nice. yeah um so was queen mary the first event that you tried out for yep awesome so literally right after i graduated high school i went to the auditions i think i was like 17 and a half and i got the role <laughs> right on my 18th birthday so nice. what a great birth what a great birthday <laughs> gift, right? do a hot like awesome um it's like with everyone like when they want to like I don't know if they go to like not scary farm when they're younger and they're like, Oh, I want to do this. Same thing with me. Yeah. yeah. Was uh, Queen Mary a, an event you have gone, you went to in the past as, as you know, growing up and it was that just something that you always liked. Yep. I yeah. started when it used to be shipwreck when I was like 12. Okay. And I was like, dad, I really want to do this. And then it <laughs> changed. I think when I was 13 or 14 to dark Harbor and I was like, fuck it. I'm still going to do it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, so, with that being said, do you have any? Do you go to any of the other haunts as well, or has just Queen Mary always just been your go-to? Queen Mary is always my go-to, but I have gone to Not Scary Farm. Got to represent my friends and Halloween Horror Nights, which is also pretty nice. 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 So, let's 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 do, dig into this role, of Scary Mary. So, when you first auditioned, was that the first role you went for, or was that? What did you try out of something else, and then eventually got into that role? I'll be honest, I didn't even know who Scary Mary was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who Scary Mary was. I actually, um, when they write down on the application, like, what do you want to be? I think the first thing I put was clown. Nice. Because I didn't, a clown or zombie, because I didn't know what the characters were. Yeah. Um, I didn't really think I was going to be a child when I auditioned, so I didn't put that down on my application, but... Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. And it was funny because um, the first season that I worked there, I wasn't Scary Mary the whole season. Okay. So I was actually a like a, a backup. Yeah, like a backup. And then I was playing different characters every night. And I think half the season forward was Scary Mary. Okay. Okay. So I think so... my realized like, no, she she's good as this little kid. I'm like, I, that's cool. Okay, <laughs> I, nice. So then the next year you return, they're like, listen, we just want to give you this role, basically, Scary Mary, <laughs> and the rest is history from there. Yep, that's awesome. So you've been doing this character for quite some time, then, huh? Uh, if we do have Dark Harbor this year, this 
probably would be my seventh season. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome that you keep coming back and, and bringing this character to life because this is one of the most terrifying characters at Dark Harbor. I mean, you have this lineup of characters that are just freaking amazing. But then when you look at a character like Scary Mary, it's just like the background behind Scary Mary, you know, which is really cool that they based a lot of their characters, uh, you know, behind the scenes of the lore of the ship, which is really cool. Um, but when you look at a character like Scary Mary, she's probably the most infamous kind of, you know, um, tale on that ship as far as her story, you know, you know, the, what, what is the real story of this character um, as far as the girl goes. And um, to, to bring that character to life, it must just be awesome. And, and to be part of this event, I mean, like I said, the first year I went was last year and it was such a fun time. And I, I hope they do bring it back this year, but we'll see. We'll see where stuff goes. Um, but um, th this is definitely an event I will check out every season from, from of course, last year going forward. Uh, and I've, I've loved every moment of it, especially since I turned 21. <laughs> I mean, becoming a, you know, drinking a little bit, it's fun. Um, but I will say this. If you're going to go to a haunt vent, don't overdo it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, to, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, shade, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of like a one, maybe two drink type of person, and then, you know, I'm good um, for the rest yeah, of the night, I, you know? Don't know how anyone would want to get smashed at a Halloween event, but... Yeah. It's like you pay all this money just to make some memories, and then you forget it. It's like... Yeah, and that's what kind of bums us out, because they overdrink, and then they don't really fully experience what we're trying to give them. Yeah. But Which is uh, and the one night of their life. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the event has only gotten bigger every year. It's been going on too. I mean, mm -hmm. you of course you got the you, you you got the mazes on the ship, and then you got some mazes that are in the the actual grounds area. Um, so, as Scary Mary, are you kind of just walking around the event throughout the night? Or are you in Lullaby for most of the night? I'm Lullaby. Lullaby. Oh. Okay. I used to be out in the streets. Um, unfortunately, there's just some complications with the character being out in the street. She yeah. is a very lovable character. I can understand that. But sometimes it's just not safe to have her on the street. Exactly. So it's, I enjoy being in the maze and I don't mind it. And it's, it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. That maze, there's just a lot of things you can do with that character. So it's better that we're inside instead of outside definitely of course especially with i can imagine of course with the makeup and stuff getting hot as well i mean it's probably sometimes good to be inside with that nice cool refreshing air i mean i remember going on a couple of areas of the boats it just felt like really cold and that was because you were out near the harbor which felt good to me i mean i wasn't i wasn't complaining about it i get hot either way anywhere i go uh yeah. lullaby man that is a terrifying maze i went through that for the first time last year um God, it was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> there was one scene I remember in specific. There's a lot of great scenes in that. Uh, but one scene I remember in specific was, of course, when, when Scary Mary runs back and forth through curtains. Uh, that's my spot. That was your spot? Okay. <laughs> that's so my spot. Walking through that, it scared the hell out of me because I remember <laughs> for the first time I went with my friends and they had gone to the event and they were making me go first through all the boat mazes because they're like, you're going to get scared. You're going to get terrified and all that. Um, and, I, and, I, and I did. I did. I'll be honest, I did. Um, <laughs> but going through that scene, like when I saw one come out and then the other come out, I was just like <laughs> terrified. I didn't know what was going on. Um, what I like about these boat mazes, though, is they kind of give you guys the freedom to really play around and have fun in them, you know, but, you know, get the scares, which is really cool. Talk to us about being in these mazes because these mazes are not like your typical mazes you'd see at other events. Uh, what do you mean? Like, like they're all. They're all oh. They're like on a boat, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just like at a typical event, it's something that they build real quick. I think with them being on the boat it gives them that more scary vibe. Yeah, um, I since I've never actually worked at any other haunt, it's kind of hard to get a feel of like how different it is. Yeah. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I just know that like, I mean, it is like a pretty quick build for our haunt just because we utilize most of the ship. Yeah. Than the actual props. You know, it's mainly character based. It's actor based. It's you're more, you know, the lore of the ship. Mm -hmm. And we're just here to bring in the ghosts. And I yeah. think that's super cool about our haunt in general. It's not 
zombies. It's not um, werewolves or vampires. It's mm. ghosts. Yeah. And that's what makes it even spookier because it's like, ooh, this could be real. You yep. Know? Definitely. No, I agree. I think this is why that Queen Mary is such a unique haunt. And that was one of the things that I left when I left that haunt. That's the one thing I kept thinking. I was like, I think I like this one a lot more because <laughs> it's different from the other ones. Like the other ones, like you said, have like werewolves, have vampires. This one focuses on the lore of the ship and they continue mm -hmm. to try to build more stories around that ship. Um, especially like if you watch a lot of like ghost hunting shows and stuff, you know, when you see a lot of those and then you, you go to the event, it's like, wow, that happened on this ship. Like that's, it's insane. Um, yeah. And I think with Scary Mary's story, of course, with the little girl and the and the pool and everything, that's one of the most infamous stories on the sh you know the ship. That pool is like shut off for a reason. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, I think it's cool. And that was another fun part and really cool part of the maze as well was when you actually got to go inside the pool. Um, beautiful effect, well done. And I don't remember who was playing Scary Mary in that scene, but they scared the crap out of me because there was like one that was just I think the one that was like a, a mannequin, and then there was a real one, and I didn't know which one was real. So. It got me on that one. Um, I know who it is, but <laughs> there you go. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she also she, she... started with me uh, the same year. So yeah, that that's cool. awesome. Yeah, I mean, for <laughs> so that's another thing. Like, is there people that are still at the event that you started with that just kept doing it that you were like yeah. really close friends with? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, because I think that's another big thing about these haunts is like you get to build like a whole new family with these people and I think it's extraordinary because I've seen it time and time again with different haunts it's a really cool feeling to have that other family to go to especially during haunt season I mean kind of like camp yeah you, know how you go to camp and you see your friends there it's, it kind of yeah, feels yeah. like that and I think it's why yeah. I, I don't really see it more as a job I see it well it is a job but I also see it more as like a big family that I get to see again definitely really yeah fun. of course I mean I think that's always the best feeling um to just build those friendships and I think that's what helps get scares more too because you guys can communicate with each other as to all right this person's coming let's let's do something and i think that's always fun absolutely let's talk a little bit about the ship now of course with this ship it has its history you work in there for all these years have you seen anything spooky yes and no okay because <laughs> it's hard to like describe like you won't actually see a face yeah. So you kind of just sit, and you don't know if it's just either sleep deprivation or you're actually seeing something. Yeah. Um, recently, this last, sorry, my guinea pig. <laughs> water. Um, this past season, I thought I saw something, and it absolutely terrified me because I know the spot um, behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. um, it's really dark on both sides, but on the opposite side, there which is an empty space. You guys won't be able to see it. It's just us yeah. in this empty space of just pitch black darkness. There's no one behind us, nothing. And it was really terrifying because it felt like some gentleman was behind me and he just did this big, like, relieved sigh oh. right by my ear. And I'm like, nope. So yep. now I don't want to be here. And I, like, ran to their side. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to scare the rest of the night here <laughs> <laughs> and no one was there there was no guest so it wasn't like you know there was nothing to blame it on so it was absolutely yeah. terrifying. <laughs> oh i know i know yeah that's, that's, that's about just, it though that's terrifying man i mean uh that yeah i mean I've, I've heard so many stories from this ship um as far as you know of course b340 is one of them um my uncle thought he was mr ghost hunter last year and actually spent the spent like a weekend on the ship and got mad because he couldn't get anything however he is also a very religious person so i was like there's a difference if i were to go which i'm still religious but i'm not like go to church every sunday or anything but there's a difference between if i were to go and you were to go you know what i mean like i could probably they'll probably come out and interact with me or something and between you you know you and your girlfriend i mean it's a little bit different but uh i mean if you uh, stay in the ship i believe on the a level because sometimes yeah. when i do advertisements and stuff they put me on the ship to spend the the night you know, like a night or two and i do remember a night where the sink would keep turning on oh yeah that's and i know terrifying. my roommate was absolutely terrified because sometimes <laughs> the lights would turn on and we're just yeah. like you know 
maybe we should just not sleep tonight. Let's just not <laughs> sleep tonight. We'll be all right. We'll Our sleep during the day. It's 3 a.m. anyways for makeup, and it's 12, so we don't need this three-hour nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, yeah, I've heard some insane stories on that ship, and I've always, that's what, I've always just wanted, I'm just always curious as to if anyone's ever seen anything work in the event, especially with an event like this. I don't know if it will trigger more of the ghosts to come out because of the event. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I've had, I've heard some monsters quit because they thought they saw ghosts, so I mean, okay. it's a pretty serious thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, very much. Um, so, other than Scary Mary, have you actually played any other characters um, at the event? <laughs> awesome. Is that something you can share with us? Oh, yeah. Graceful Gil. Awesome. Graceful Gil. She and is... And Henry. <laughs> no... Oh, really? Yeah. No way. That's yeah. awesome. Just for a night. That was awesome, though. I mean, that's cool that <laughs> you got to do that at least, you know? I mean, yeah. that's, that's very cool. Um, Graceful Gil, though, she, she's always walking around with the captain, and I got to, got to see her a couple times throughout the night she actually gave me one of i used it in one of my videos she gave me like a really cool intro for my video where she was just like kind of motioned me to, to come to her which i thought was really cool but that character is very interesting i mean you got the uh, the beauty of the character as well as you know the way she dresses and then there's that red that just kind of pops out mm -hmm. on her which i think is just an awesome uh oh, kind of mixture of the character yeah it's just an awesome <laughs> mixture of the character what did you find uh the most fun playing that character like, what was the most fun? Um, it was just different because yeah. I've had, it's like, you have Scary Mary, who's this, like, compulsive child who just wants to, like, bash your brains in, run around, hide, play, just very annoying and loud and obnoxious. Yeah. And then you have this, like, high, you know, like, uptight princess you know gets all the men and it's just <laughs> completely you know different yeah than what I'm used to. but just i loved to, it just had to flip the switch real quick huh oh yeah and yeah. she doesn't talk yeah so that's another one that's like really hard because the character mary i'm so used to just being a chatterbox being mm -hmm. annoying you know like roasting people at you know Mo monster palooza midsummer screen midsummer screen yeah <laughs> you know it's just hard from going to like screaming to just being absolutely quiet. Yeah, yeah. My back has to be up, you know, and just like yeah. I have to be rude to people. You know, <laughs> I have to, but yeah. You just have to. You have to. Flip, you have to come a whole new. So that that's that's really cool. I mean, I mean, you get to get you get to kind of get that dual like that dual role of just like from going to a to an obnoxious an obnoxious child to a very like, you know, kind of. A queen. What's the word? Oh, yeah, you go. That's just like a, a good, like a princess who's just kind of just, you know, I'm better than everyone. You know what I mean? Which it's it's like a really cool transition. I think that's really like really cool that you can just kind of flip that switch. Is really like it's really very talented, actually. Should I say <laughs> very talented? Very talented. Um, what are some of your favorite memories working at Queen Mary? I know. This, I mean, it's been a decade. You know, in the making almost. So, I mean, there's got to be, uh, there's probably a ton, but off the top of your head, what are some of your favorites? I don't even know if I'm allowed to say them. I don't know if I'm <laughs> getting in trouble for it. Nah, I won't get in trouble. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I don't think I was allowed to do it, but I did it anyways. Um, there were times where I was scheduled to scare at the very last part of the maze. Yeah. And I remember couple seasons ago there was a bar and I would stand on top of the bar and try to climb on top of the ceiling and so I would hide and hover above the guests yeah if the guests get too close I would either because I put a shaker can in my bear I'd either shake the bear to freak them out or I would jump behind them and chase after them <laughs> and I remember one night I actually scared this lady so bad when I jumped down <laughs> oh no she started running and then she somehow like fell face flat and skidded. <laughs> we don't know if she broke her nose or not, oh, but I no. got monster of the night that night. So There you go. <laughs> yeah. it That's was, it hilarious. Oh, um, man. <laughs> oh, man. I do remember I made a kid poop himself. Wow. Yeah. Cause you, I think I, <laughs> you might be the first character I've ever had on the show that actually said they made someone. No. Yeah, you might be the first one to say this that someone made someone poop themselves. That's wow, yeah. that's a new one. 
Um, he was trying to scare the sliders, and I remembered I was on the streets, and he didn't see me at all. And of course, you've got this ugly, zombified looking little child behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around and you freak out. And he's like, I poop myself. <laughs> He's trying oh. to find his mom as he's waddling away. And I'm like, come back. I want to play. <laughs> um, so uh, you probably worked like a ton of media events and stuff like that. What do you yeah. find the most fun doing with those? I mean, I, I know you get to get together with all of, like the, the big staple characters and stuff. Is it fun to just kind of mess around and kind of just be that character while everyone's kind of doing like the media stuff? Um. I love all the main characters when I get to do the media stuff because we're yeah. so close with each other. We get to like secretly roast each other. Yeah. <laughs> They'll well. whisper in my ear stuff like, you're just such a bitch. And I'm like, oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 but no one can hear us because we're whispering to each other. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. It's just I, like I the little agree. side comments to each other. That's just really funny. <laughs> it's one of my dream podcasts. And, and it was after I went to the event that I knew I wanted to do this is to get – if Queen Mary would allow it to get all of you guys in your all the main ones in character and do a podcast as everyone in character, that would be that hilarious. Would be, that would, that be, would be so. Fun. <laughs> That's just the captain probably roasting everything I say. I mean, <laughs> die and, and it, it would just be a fun time. And so, Queen Mary, if you're watching, that's something I really want to do. If you can make a a little boy's dream come true, that'd be awesome. Um. No, that that's cool though. I mean, you guys are really close, and and that's good. It's good that you guys have that chemistry because, I mean, you, you look at a lot of sometimes you look at some some groups and some people can just can't stand each other, and it's good when you guys have that awesome chemistry because it really brings the character to lives, and you guys can all obviously communicate with each other like you just explained of just the little side comments and stuff like that, which makes it even more of a fun it's time. It's also fun to interact with each other in character as well. Exactly. Yeah. I and mean, a I think character scary Mary is just. God, they can all just roast me, and it's fine. Because <laughs> I can yeah. roast them back, and it's okay, because I'm that character. That's awesome. No, I and I think I've seen some funny stuff with Scary Mary, and I've seen some very scary stuff with Scary Mary. It's just that character in general is He's bipolar. Just, it's hilarious, though. I've seen you like I've seen you ride a tricycle. <laughs> I've seen you just like start talking to yourself out of nowhere, and then start yelling. Which is, is hilarious. It confuses uh, a lot of people because they'll see me laughing and playing and just being just obnoxious. And then when they'll come up to me, and I'll just start like doing like, like a snarl. And they're like, what the heck happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and then I think my favorite moment with you, though, was one, I think it was last year at Midsummer Scream when the captain was explaining stuff. And you were just like he was getting roasted and you were just laughing at him. And like he was noticing you, and he would just he could not like stand you or whatever, and it, it was just hilarious. Like, it's almost like that kind of, like that father kind of daughter relationship. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I can't stand you, but at the same time, I I do love you. It's just like, I I, I see that a lot with the captain and, and Scary Mary, which is very funny. Um, we do that on purpose. <laughs> that's that's awesome. No, I love it, and I think the fans appreciate it as, uh, even more. Um, it's just a fun time in general. You guys really. Like I keep saying, you guys bring those characters to life, uh, to life, and and we love it. That's I think that's why we continue to keep coming back to this event every year is because we love the chemistry that you guys all have. We love the show that you guys put on, and it's just fantastic. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I I just like I said, I'm just happy to be here right now. This is this is this is awesome. Some of our friends over at Fracture Compass a couple weeks ago did um, some art of you, which I thought was really cool. What would oh, you think I about that? It <laughs> really, like, felt, you know, that really must have felt good through all these tough times right now, you know? That was hilarious. The, my favorite one, I think, was by DG Art, is when she made my box hands meme. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was Delania's such a stupid joke, and I love it so much. I'm yeah, so glad Delania, it's so good. Delania is such a talented artist. We've, we've <laughs> talked to her many times. She's such a cool person. She's uh, awesome. No, yeah, I, I, I got to, I got a chance to tune into that live stream, and I was just laughing because it, it's, it's really funny to watch Bree and, and uh, Jackie kind of commentate and Bree draw along, and it's just <laughs> hilarious. Th those people over at Fracture Compass are, are such amazing people, um, and uh, I, I thought it was really cool when they did a Queen Mary night, and I, I, one of the biggest drawings they did, of course, was of you, 
So I, I just wanted to get your thoughts on that real quick because I know it, it was a fun time. And um, like I said, it must have just felt good to see that, of course, even after Haunt Season's over, people are still always thinking about the character. Yeah, it warms my heart. It's nice yeah. to know, especially because, um, I don't know, I just have been kind of like feeling a little low, not wanting to do the character anymore. Yeah. But then I got a lot of people that show the support and love of the character. And then I said, then I'm like, damn, like, that really makes me happy. Then I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I make a huge impact out of the character. It's oh, nice it's, definitely. it's nice to see. No, you, you make know? a huge impact. I mean, there, I mean, us haunt people, the haunt community in general, I think that's the reason why we continue to do the content we do is because it is characters like yourself that really drive us to want to come back to these events over and over again. And especially with me with Queen Mary last year, I actually went twice last year because I enjoyed it the first time. We got invited out uh, thanks to Queen Mary for the media. That was just an awesome thing for them to do. Uh, but then I liked it so much that we, we bought tickets to go back because I wanted to see it again and I wanted to experience it again. Um, and I'm glad I did so because I, I had such a fun time doing the Queen Mary uh, Dark Harbor event. And I am so glad to add it to my slate of haunts to go to every year. Uh, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. You, the captain, all the characters that come to life, it is just – it is awesome. It really puts me in a happy place. I mean, to see that you guys are bringing these characters to life every single night um, and putting 110% – into these characters is just amazing and we love coming to the event we love supporting you guys any way we can so i just want to say thank you for that like that's just it's been an, it's been an amazing time to really check out dark harbor and i, I can't wait to go back i really can't i'm I excited really appreciate that i'm glad that we all are happy i'm pretty sure if anyone sees this i'm gonna be really happy when you say that <laughs> yeah i i love dark harbor and i'm glad i got to go this last year so, Queen Mary, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, we love you. We will continue to support you. Whether we get media or not, we don't care. We're going to go to the event regardless. Uh, so, here's a question I always ask scare actors. Um, just because I'm a little curious if they ever had this um, kind of dream. If you get to work any other haunt for one night or a season, which would you choose and why? Good question. Netherworld. Really? I've never heard of that one. Uh, it's in uh, Georgia. Okay. So awesome. I have some amazing friends that actually came, moved out here for a little bit, um, and then they moved back. They're from Alabama. They're amazing. I don't know if you've heard of them. Joseph and Morgan, a.k.a. Pongo Joe. Okay. Fidget. Yeah. Um, but I have come out there a few times to see them, and they've had taken me to Netherworld off season, and oh my God, it's beautiful. Is it's, it? It's it's a haunt dream come true. <laughs> wow, that's good to and hear. It's hard to explain, but just looking at the setup and everything that they have there, and I've heard so many positive reviews and just the compliments of the characters and the actors that work there, I absolutely would want to go and at least try season. Just bring a little madness over there, huh? Absolutely. That's and they're it. ready for me. I know they are. They've already there been telling go. my friends, they're like, Sam, they want you there. I'm like, I know. I'm just waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. I think that's one thing I would love to do with this channel too is because I know there's so many great haunts out there in the world, oh, especially yeah. overseas in like Germany and stuff like that. And I would just love to go see them just to experience them. Um, one of the things uh, that I want to go check out, especially because it launched last year and I hope they bring it back and keep doing it, is actually um, Dark Horizons as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, which uh, launched, of course, in Orlando, Florida. And I've been meaning to make a trip out to Orlando, Florida for so long to not only experience um, Dark Horizons now, but uh, HHN and uh, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, or um, Tampa, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of mm -hmm. another Bush Gardens. Um, so, uh, yeah, I want to really go check that out and, and see other haunts. So that's cool that you said something out of state. I, I, that's the first, actually answer that I've heard that someone actually wants to go out of state and check out another hunt. That's awesome. There's a lot of, I mean, I mean, I just this December that just passed, I got to slide for a night at Nashville nightmare. Just for okay. a night. So 
oh my gosh, like there's so many amazing haunts that even they don't even have like big names like Not Scary Farm or Halloween Horror Nights, but they still are just as amazing. Yeah. And I have so much fun and there are a lot of haunts out there that just let you just go free willy and do whatever you want. And that's yeah. Fun. That, yeah, yeah. I just love that, especially when, like, a lot of the guests there, too, are very positive when it comes to, like, haunt actors there, and they really get into it, and it was just a lot of fun getting to interact with guests like that. I mean, at Dark Definitely. Harbor, it was fun, but sometimes you do get one of those bad apples that just want to punch you in the face for scaring them. Yeah. I haven't gotten any yeah. of that at Nashville, so it, it just made me open up my eyes to experience more other, you know, haunts out of state. Definitely. I uh, I wish I wasn't so tall because I feel like sometimes characters feel intimidated coming up to me. Like if I'm going to hit them, I'm like, no, I encourage it. Please do. Please come up to me and scare me. I really want to get scared. Like I, that's why I come to these events. I, I won't hurt you. I by kids. They're yeah, the ones they? that touch me. <laughs> oh, man. That's uh, it's cool to see sometimes too when when families bring their kids to these events because a lot of the kids most of the time actually enjoy it and have a good time, you know, and, and it's really cool when of course they can keep their cool and everything. But I really like to see like that family kind of bond where like you can kind of see like that's gonna be like a generation thing where as he gets older he's gonna his dad's gonna keep taking him to these events until he has kids of his own, mm -hmm. and it's just gonna keep a continuous cycle. So I like seeing families who enjoy the event, go to the event. It's really cool. And it's it really like... Oh, sorry, guys. go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're good. No, no. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You go first. Oh, I was just going to say, like, they're a lot braver than I was at that age, so... Oh, really? Yeah. How old were you when <laughs> I you started? Was... I went to my first haunt, which was not Scary Farm, in 2008. That was and the same I think I... that I started with Dark Harbor. Nice. I was in fifth grade. Oh. Yeah. I was in fifth grade, showed up for about two hours, cried, and left. <laughs> uh, then I redeemed myself in 2011, went to HHN for the first time, and that's when I knew I fell in love with haunts. So, Sometimes you just got to give yourself time. Yep. That's all it took. It's not for anyone. It, it's not for everyone until like you got that perfect age to enjoy something. Yeah. I know Definitely. I wasn't very happy with it until like I was like twelve when I started. So no, I get you. <laughs> no, that's awesome. No, and now you look at you now. You're one of the most iconic characters at the event, man. That's awesome. I tried. That's I awesome. really tried. I practiced for eight years. <laughs> there you go. No, and it's paid off. We we see it. We notice it. This <laughs> well, is why we do these this, podcasts. Um, What's up? Scary, uh, the funny thing is with Scary Mary. She wasn't as, like, evil until, like, 2015, 2016. We right. usually had the character just very playful. But then I remembered, okay. I was like, let's change her into something a little bit different and actually have more of a scare factor that will make people enjoy Definitely. it. Because I, I feel like the character was, you know, too cute. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want yeah. guests to come in and be like, oh, she's so cute and adorable. Oh, I want people to get scared. Yeah. You know, that's why they're here. So you actually had a hand in changing as to what she is today then. Yeah. That's awesome. You know how historical that is? You are going to go down in the books for making Scary Mary a thing of nightmares, which is awesome. Yeah. And I get a lot, a lot of the other Scary Marys that are, you know, doing the same thing that's making me so happy because now they're becoming the Scary Marys and it's just, it's like seeing little children just, you know. That's so cool. Like, I'm, just like, imagine. Oh, a bunch of <laughs> yeah, just imagine a new scare actor, scare actress coming in and playing the role of Scary Mary and they get to scare with the OG Scary Mary. It's like. That must be awesome for that. I would, I would be very intimidated because I don't be like, okay, how do I do this right in front of her? Like, I don't oh, know how. I've been how getting I... intimidated lately. There's a lot of scary really? movies out there that have been like doing the same thing I have. I'm like, you can take my job. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. I don't need job. to work here anymore. <laughs> like, and it makes me you're, happy to uh, see that. You're spawning a generation of new scary Marys, man. Yeah. And then I can swiftly like do something else and I get to watch it 
finally. <laughs> you're like Queen Scary Mary, and you're spawning like everyone. The Queen Mary. <laughs> the Queen Mary. <laughs> she did it. Pun game on point. I tried. I tried to push that in there. <laughs> Sam, we've only talked for about 35 minutes, and I feel like we've we were like we're good friends now. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. This connection, I like it. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I'm a little like awkward, a little... but I try. Hey, we're all awkward in the haunt community. I mean, that's fine. In the haunt community, that's just called being normal. You're right. All right. Very Here right. we are. So, um, what do you have? Do you have any advice for people who want to do this for, you know, for a living, who want to become scare actors? What are your, what's your advice to the future up-and-coming scare actors? Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. Don't be shy. You Don't know, no shy. one's gonna, no one's gonna judge you when you do your auditions. Because I know a lot of people out there have been commenting, DMing me, saying like, "I want to haunt, but I'm too scared to audition." And it's like, why? No yeah. one's gonna judge you. You're, you gotta, you know, you're gonna be behind a mask. You're gonna be behind a costume. No one's gonna recognize you in auditions, even though they're gonna see your real face. Like. We're not here to judge you. We're here to actually support you in what you want to do, you know? So you just got to be confident in yourself to do what I you really want. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I, I, like I said, like I always keep saying, the worst they can say is no. That's it. Yeah. The worst they can say is no. And if they say no, that doesn't mean you're a trash person. That just means, you know, just try again next year. Yeah. You know, good example. Keep going my mom was a scare actor. <laughs> no way. At Queen yeah. Mary too? Yep. Wow. She was in Trepid That is for two awesome. Years. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to all those, happy belated Mother's Day to all those amazing mothers out there too. I mean yeah. like, like mother like daughter. I like it. I forced her into it. She was very shy. So if I can get my shy mom to audition, why can't you? Who did your mom play, by the way? Uh, she played uh, one of the ghosts in Intrepid. So she played okay. a, a few different characters. So she, I believe, at her first year was a um, train passenger. Okay. And then the second year, she was a ghost. So she ghost. Yeah. But everyone loved her. She did amazing, from what I heard. Even though we were in two completely different mazes, man. Everyone loved her. That's awesome. That is awesome. I love hearing uh, haunt family stories. There's a there's a family at at Not Scary Farm who have been doing it for years, which I think is just an amazing story. Uh, Thrash, who plays Bovine the Bull. Mm. I don't know if you've seen him at Not Scary Farm. He's in Ghost Town. He's a giant bull on on some stilts. He carries a giant pitchfork. Uh, Might have. Yeah, uh, he, his whole family is in it, and they're just an amazing family, amazing oh, people. Great. Um. Here is one mashup I would love to see. Now, your character, Scary Mary, is very, very intimidating, and I love it. Who I would love to see your team up with is the orphan over at Not Scary Farm. I don't know okay. if you've seen this character. Oh, I know uh, her. You know her? You know Ruth? Yeah. Um, she, I think you and her, if you guys were to bring those characters and like work together as a team, like... That is like like my legit worst nightmare come to life right there. There's another character as well. Um, I don't know the scare actress's name. She's very quiet. Um, she's from Six Flags, Magic okay. Mountain. Um, but she's got she's got a scary Mary vibe to her. She's got dark hair. I believe her name is Innocence. Okay. Uh, but she is a child as well, and she's oh, more nice. zombified looking. And when I look at her, I'm like, oh, it's a duo. It's waiting to happen. It's a duo. <laughs> One day. One day it's going to happen. She walks very One. slow. She's very creepy. Oh. And I look at her, I'm like, oh, yeah. Mary and I are going to be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do know that you actually, outside of Queen Mary, do actually your own characters as well. Um, can you list off a couple of your characters? Because they are very terrifying as well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, I created Clementine. She is a vampire. Okay. She's actually not even a blood-sucking vampire. A lot of people think because she's so scary looking. 
she's actually like a, one of those blood suckers, but she's actually an emotional vampire. So it's awesome. kind of like your uh, what's it called? Night paralysis demon, basically. I like that. That's how I would imagine her. And then I have I like my that. clown, and her name is Mockery. She's new. She basically okay. just mocks you. <laughs> she just laughs. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And then there's my. I only made this character like for one night, which is for National Nightmare. But Gretchen, the Gremlin, she's an. Okay. One. I love her. She's more of like a Beetlejuice character. She's just nasty. All right, yeah. I dig it. Beetlejuice <laughs> is one of my favorites. Hold on. Yeah. Got some uh, Beetlejuice right here. Beetlejuice nice. is one of my favorites. Right? <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love Beetlejuice. That's awesome. Um, there's another thing I want to talk to you about. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of your TikTok page. Hey. Uh, you've been doing a lot of TikToks, but one that creeped me out a lot and I really enjoyed was the, the cult one. <laughs> um, that was terrifying. Oh, what God. came up with the idea with that one? That was a good one. Oh, my God. I shaved my eyebrows, too, which made it even creepier. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to create a character. I don't know if I will continue it or not, but I've been really into just doing, like, more humanoid characters. I feel like anything with religion is scary yeah. to anyone, whether it's, any religion, honestly. And I wanted to actually create my own religion, which is funny enough. That's awesome. <laughs> and just kind of like create a cult around it and try to see if people will believe me or not. <laughs> and so the TikTok awesome. was just it was just for fun, but it also made a lot of people uncomfortable, which made me happy. So I'm glad I'm glad you picked that one out. <laughs> I uh I watched it at least a couple of times and I was just blown away by it i was just like oh my god this is disturbing but at the same time this is horror and i love it um and that was of course that was one thing i had to talk to you about when i got you on the show was that tiktok and it was just great so if you guys haven't seen it go follow her tiktok page well uh what, it, what, what can you tell them what your tiktok page is is it awkward supervillain right yep awkward supervillain i will leave it in the <laughs> description below so go check check out her TikTok page. She's got amazing TikToks as well. That's just one of the one of my favorites at least. Um, but she does amazing TikToks, of course. Also with your sister, uh, who is an, another amazing person that I've been seeing a lot on your uh, Instagram too. Um, so that's really cool. And you guys have that. You guys have that awesome uh, sisterly bond, which is awesome. Um, I love her so much. She's so much. She's completely opposite to me, but. She's got to humor. <laughs> that's that's all that matters. As long as you have her and she has you, nothing yeah. could stop you guys. Absolutely. Um, now it's time for the hardest question of the podcast. What I ask all my guests. Sometimes it's hard for them because there's more than one, but sometimes it's really easy for them. Let's see where this question takes you. What's your favorite horror movie? Oh, damn! That is that is a hard one. <sighs> Like I always say, this is always the hardest question of the podcast. <laughs> There's so many of them. I will have there to is. say, gosh, I don't know. What is Spalding? House of Thousand Corpses. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I love. I love. <laughs> I love the Devil's Rejects trilogy. Love it. I uh, I got my tickets to go see Three from Hell when it came out. Me too. And. I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Not a lot of people liked it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Um, it, it did was suck up. It was. Yeah. I mean, I, I know Zombie wanted to do, like, he wanted to bring the three from hell back, which, of course, is Spalding, uh, yeah. Baby, and Otis. But, of course, you know, Sid Haig was getting sick at the time when they were filming it, and then, unfortunately, he passed away, which is a bummer. But. For what they did with that movie, you know, at least he, he had to change the script at the last minute. He still did a very good job of what he had to work with, and mm -hmm. I, I liked it a lot. I mean, Spaulding was still in it, even if it was for a little bit, and I loved it. So, uh, Devil's Rejects, though, will always be my favorite because it's got the best ending to any movie, I think, of all my time. My legitimate which is, childhood. I love it. Right? It's great. Great soundtrack. Uh, great story. And the, the last scene is Freebird. Like, you can't beat that. Like, Freebird is such a great song. And mm -hmm. they go out in a blaze of glory, and it's great. It's awesome. Um, Sam, 
it has been an absolute pleasure to talk with you today. And I thank you so much for coming on the show and talking with us. Um, before we go, do you have any social media that you have that you can that people can find you at? Just Instagram and TikTok. It's just awkward supervillain. Awesome. There it is. Awkward <laughs> supervillain on Instagram and TikTok. I know it's long. <laughs> nah, she puts up great content. She's an amazing uh, human being as it is. And Scary Mary is just an amazing character. So thank you so much for bringing that character to life and continuing to bring that character to life. Um, so that is going to do it. I, I Again, I can't thank you enough for being on this uh, on the show today. And uh, I hope honored. fans Thank you so much. I'm I'm glad we can we could build this friendship with the start of this show. I love building friendships with scare actors. It's my favorite thing. It is awesome. I love everyone that I've interviewed, everyone that I've met. It's just been an absolute pleasure. And the honor's all mine. So thank you, thank you so much. Um for those who are fans of Scary Mary, I'm I'm hoping that you guys got a lot of info out of this podcast and just enjoyed having Sam on the show and just talking about her experience at Queen Mary and just all out, uh, everything horror. Um, so if you guys do like these podcasts, just leave a like and some nice comments down for Sam uh, so I can send them her way when this video does come out. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this podcast and you stay classy. Thank you.